Hey, you guys, this is your coach, Dr. Andrea Dickerson, and I am so excited. The time has come for our vision board party, and so many of you have asked me, Coach, how are you going to host a vision board virtually? Well, it will take some preparation, so I want to give you this video to help you properly prepare for an amazing vision board party. To, the first thing I want you to do is to understand that vision board parties are created for you to think ahead of the biggest, grandest version of yourself and your business. I want to focus specifically on your child care classrooms, your child care business, and you thinking like a child care CEO. I want to stretch you to dream a bigger dream. So when it comes to creating this vision board, I want you to begin to put a few things in place before your live training. The first thing I want you to do is to think about your prior year. Think about the year that we are currently in. Did you maximize this year? Did you meet all of your goals? I want you to sit down and write a letter to yourself, talking to yourself, explaining to yourself how your year was and what you expected from this year. The second thing I want you to do is to open up your welcome kit. Your welcome kit will give you a welcome letter and also some prompts to complete before your training. These prompts are going to have you answer the next three big steps that you want to accomplish. Typically, I choose five steps. But if this is your first time vision boarding or visualizing a bigger dream for yourself, then three steps will work. You know, there's a scripture that says where there is no prophetic vision, people perish or cast off restraint. So what I want you to do is to ask God questions like, God, what is it that I can accomplish this year to bring glory to your name? What is it that I can do in my business that will magnify you in the land? What is it, God, that you have assigned for my life? You know, there's a scripture that says that the God knows the plans that he has for you. Plans of prosperity, plans of peace, not of evil, but to give you an expected end. So why not ask God questions? Ask him, what is his plans for your life? The, in your welcome kit, you can begin to write down what you believe the plans are for your life. And then once you tackle those three big step goals that you want to accomplish, the next thing I want you to do is to think about the systems that you need in place. So typically when it comes to managing your classrooms and having a successful classroom, I want you to have goals around creating a culture so that teachers will want to work in your classroom having enough material so that the children will pretty much learn routine based on the material in your classroom. So we're going to go through that. I'm going to spill the beans and give you some coaching just to make sure that as you create this vision board, that you're creating it from a systematic point of view. I'm going to spark your interest and give you ideas that's going to help you make sure that you are on track when it comes to a clear vision for your child care business. The second thing I want you to do is to grab loads of materials such as your poster, scissors, images. Now, of course, in your welcome kit, I'm providing you with images because I know the direction I want you to think in. But you can pull magazines like Lakeshore, Discount School Supply, Environments, Kaplan. The reason why I'm telling you to pull those agencies and, and organizations is because that's how I started. That's how I started with systems and I kept systems alive in my business. I kept my team looking at beautifully organized classrooms. I kept my team knowing that the vision that we had in mind was possible because these organizations have already done it. And so by me having these images and I begin to grow and think about systems, then I realized I can use images to support my systems. So then that took me to the next level of visualizing staff. It took me to the next level of visualizing my classrooms organized and what I wanted my centers to look like in my classrooms. And then it, it gave me... Um, the images to support my strategy. Now my strategy came over time where I wanted my classroom set up from loud to quiet. I wanted to identify what items went on my shelving. I wanted to identify the level of complexity based on 
the shelf that I put the information on. And so with me having so many desires for my organization, it never would have evolved had I not had a vision board and had I not had images to help me depict, speak, show, say what I wanted for my classrooms. By operating like this, it allowed me to get systems in place faster, encourage my team to follow the systems by keeping the vision in front of them. And it was encouragement for me because one day everybody can show up to work and the next day somebody can call out or even quit. So having this type of vision is what kept me connected and kept me excited. Next, once you go through your questionnaire, then I want you to really think about how can I put these systems in place? That's when I'm going to talk to you about the boss flicks so that you can see it and achieve it. So it's going to be so much fun. As a matter of fact, we have a jump teeny <laughs> that you can make at home by just having the proper ingredients. Get your ingredients together, go through your workbook, go through your images, begin to cut out the things that you want for your classroom, for your office, for your staff, and even the things you want for your life. And let's get ready to come together and have an amazing time. Well, all right, I'll see you on the other side. Bye, you guys.